Tell me about, I want to talk a bit about Bill um, starting and, and the new playwrights and the David Frenches and the Freemans. But at a certain point, he reached out to Quebec. Mm -hmm. What was it in Bill that reached? He was uh, born in Quebec. You know, I mean, he was very proud of being born in Quebec. And he was very, he was very proud of, of, you know, having his, his gr grand, I think it was his, I don't know, it was in the family anyway, having the, the, the house in Tadoussac and trying to speak French. <laughs> Bill's French was not the best, but he could, he could certainly speak it. Um, and I think he just fell in love with Michel and, and Michel's kind of, what he was trying to do in bringing the, the, doing exactly what Bill was trying to do in English Canada. Michel was writing for the, the Quebecois and he was breaking ground. And I think that was one of the things that he really appreciated. And it was, it was, it was amazing. I mean, we ended up doing 13 of his plays over the course of the time I was here, and I think we may have done one since then, or may not have, but. And was there any tension in that relationship? Because Tremblay was a separatist. Yeah, um, and I think he probably never, I mean, Michel never really, he, he, he loved having his plays translated. He didn't, his English was not good enough to know how, how well or not they were translated. He rarely came to, to town. He couldn't get him to the opening to save your life. Why? Because he was a separatist. Because he didn't really want to, to, to cozy up to the, to the uh, English that much. Uh, I think he changed over the years, but I mean, he was always, one-on-one, -on -one, he was a very sweet man. I mean, he was a very good man and, and everything else, but publicly, he didn't really want to be here. He also called me Marjorie. Really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> at the at, at the uh, the Mallory event, and when they all all these playwrights wrote things, he called me Marjorie. I thought, yes, okay. <laughs> Did you give him the same look you gave of me? Of course, <laughs> of course. In fact, I teased him about it later. But it was sad because we really wanted we wanted him to be here. We wanted to, you know, celebrate that. But he uh, he, he's. He, he is who he is, and he was it a difficult approach for Bill? No, no. They they had a they had an interesting relationship. I think it was it was always kind of. I mean, they they were friends, but they weren't good friends. They were they were colleagues, but they didn't really see much of each other. I mean, but certainly, I think Michelle was very happy that Bill was so interested in his work and he always offered it here so because the and then of course he also true in reverse yeah, yeah and then he and john did translate john van Burek did translate a lot of the plays because in the 70s and the 80s the separatist movement was in full roar we were going through referendums and there was there was tension mm -hmm. between english canada and french canada mm -hmm. we we all felt the divide mm -hmm. we all felt them looking at us askance as the anglos um, was that a conscious part, decision on Bill's part, then to reach over to Michel Tremblay? Well, that's a very good point, and I don't think I know. It could be. I mean, Do you know it's if they quite, ever had quite uncomfortable discussions about Canada. I don't think probably they did. Might have. Um, I mean, Bill was such a a. A, a francophile that uh, I don't know what the what the discussion would have been. Actually, what was more interesting with that was when we when we had people like uh, Jovet Marchessault, uh, the saga of wet hens, and we had people like Monique Mercure and 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 the 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 actors and directors uh, who were real separatists. And to listen to them talk about the French French and how much they were looked down upon by those people. I mean, you, you could just see these, this sort of this little kind of rolling sense of uh, 
anger about somebody else. I mean, so they, they, the, they were so determined to be their own people and not to be constantly compared with France. And, of course, we felt the same way about the English in Canada. Did Trombley ever speak about that when he was here? He wasn't ever here. Ever? Well, he, he came maybe once or twice. We never got to, we never, uh, those, those of us here really never got to know him. And how many shows of his did you do? Thirteen. I mean, I know him. I mean, I know him, but I don't know him. Bill and John Van Burek knew him better, but it was, again, uh, through translation. Wow. I mean, Michel, Michel stayed, stayed in Quebec. Wow. And did you ever feel uh, as an... English Canadian, did you ever feel that shoulder? Uh, you mean as an American? What should I? Was, well, I was going to talk about as, a, as an American <laughs> English Canadian having the Quebec or Quebec culture. Oh, we loved it. I mean, no, we loved it right from the start. Having having those plays, I mean, I remember, you know, I mean, the uh, no, they were exciting, and and we, it was terrific. I mean, it was like looking into somebody else's life. And being able to understand it. Right. Forever Yours, Mary Lou, was the first one that we had. And it was, it was like seeing a, a society you just knew nothing about.